So, August 30th, 2018. I'm planning a, uh, a big trip next week, the end of next week, up into Northern Ontario. It'll be about eight days in total. And um, looking at my gear and how I want to handle it, and I thought maybe this time I would uh, try to make some pannier bags, cases. And I noticed Canadian Tire had some clearance ammo boxes on sale, plastic am ammo boxes, uh, for half price. And so I'm off to Perth to pick them up. It's a little cooler today. A little cloud came in. It was sunny earlier, so I didn't bother bringing my rain gear, so hopefully... Hopefully it would not rain or snow on me. And it's cooler, but not that cool. It's actually quite nice to get out on the scooter on uh, a non-work day. And uh, I thought it would be a good, uh, good opportunity to um, to try out a different setup with my the helmet mic and my chest uh, camera. I'm using a chest strap that I. Uh, it's a commercially made one that came with one of the uh, GoPros I purchased online, used. And so I tried it the other day and it was, uh, the camera was a little too low. Unfortunately, I can't tell until I uh, process the film at home and take a look at it. Uh, so I figured today I'd uh, adjusted it a bit and uh, And uh, see what uh, see what it does this time. I also changed the position of the mic in my helmet. I've got it down near my mouth again. I put it up near my forehead because it was a good spot to put it. And I thought perhaps um, it wouldn't pick up so much wind sound, but it did. And also the audio wasn't as good, so we'll give this a shot. Well, I put my long johns on before I left, even though it's it's, uh, it's 9 o'clock in the morning now, so I thought it would have heated up by now. But uh, today it's going to be cooler, which is quite a change after what we've had of late. The other day we were talking Humidex. Well, I don't like to talk Humidex, but here you go, it sounds better. Um, a 44 degrees Celsius, so it's... That was very hot and humid. And now we're down to, I don't know what it's supposed to be today, a high of, I don't know, 19, 20, something like that. So it's, it's, a, it's like a big difference, big difference. And there's a good breeze too, which I'm thinking could blow in some rain by the looks of the sky there. So let's get down to Perth and back. A nice bungee cord there. I'm stop on the way back and get that. This is perfect weather today. The temperature is just right. Not too cold, not too hot. Porridge is just right. I'm blessed in that I live in an area 
of beautiful backcountry roads and uh, if I feel like taking a drive I could go for miles and days and if I turn and turn toward the west as I come out of my home I can go into gravel dirt roads and crown land and I've got miles and miles of that to do too so we, we thought about moving once in a while as a you know as we get older we want something that's a little bit the, the home is you know something a bit smaller but we've looked around and, and there's no finding something like what we already have and I think that's really a good lesson that I can learn from that, like to be appreciative of what I already have. Look at that beautiful, beautiful scene, the farms, the trees. I was thinking about that the other day and how uh, we tolerate things how in our lives uh, the dark clouds up there <laughs> in our lives there are many people things situations that we merely tolerate Even those we, in quotation marks, love. Sometimes, unfortunately, it's a matter of tolerating people uh, and views and opinions. Tolerate is a funny word. I mean, we should all tolerate each other. But is tolerate enough? Love is something we should all strive for once we get beyond just tolerating things. Like even where I live, my land, our land, the land I should say, because we can never really own land. It is <laughs> something that tolerates us these parasites <laughs> this is a lovely road back here I don't ride around here often enough the Mississippi River our Mississippi River anyway some springs we've uh, gone in there with some small kayaks when the water is uh, high and fast and had a lot of fun with the kids in the past I say we seem to be going toward that big black cloud may not be the best thing. Oh well. So what was I saying? Tolerating things. As opposed to appreciating and loving. We don't do that enough, really, when you think about it. I try to make myself stop once in a while and look around and that's when you really appreciate where you live, where you are the 
what you can see in this world, what you have. How many, how many places in the world do you have to look over your shoulder the whole time you're, you're out like this? Many countries in constant upheaval from when they're a child to when they're, when they die. Some people's lives are just riddled with fear. And in comparison, this is a utopia. But the world is a complicated and strange place sometimes. If we could all just, if I could just always calm down and go slow. I think that's one reason uh, the scooter and the back roads and the slower pace suits me because that's what I need. Some people need the excitement, the thrill of speed, of adventure, and of danger. Oh, sure, once in a while I'll laugh in the face of a storm coming on and say, a lot of people will say, oh no, you're not going out in that with your scooter, are you? I mean, you're crazy. Maybe there's just a part of me that wants that little bit of excitement, the danger, and that's the good level for me. Going out into the wilderness on my own with my canoe, People say, well, what if something happens? Well, what if it does? You deal with it at the moment. If you can't deal with it. But then there is no not dealing with something. I mean, you either deal with it irrationally or rationally. But there again comes the slowing down and the, the meditation and the bringing your thoughts together. I mean, that's always been the thing with the uh, bush panic. When you're out in the woods and you get lost, turned around, instead of panicking, which is your first instinctive thing to do, you sit down. You just stop and take, take stock of exactly what you are. Take a few, or where you are, I mean, what you are as well, it doesn't hurt. Take stock of the situation, smell the air, breathe deeply, look at the trees, look at the air, look at the sun. Look around for something familiar. Assess the situation, and I think that works in everyday life as well. There are many, many times when I will panic. It's almost like a bush panic, but it's <laughs> you're in the city, you're in the office, you're at home. You feel the blood rising within you face turns red, you clench your fists, and you're ready to blow, and a lot of times you do, and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't help. You look back on it after and you think, well, well, what did that do? Nothing. Whereas if you just calm down, sit down, breathe, somebody is irritating you, getting on your nerves, shouting at you, then your calming influence may just spread. And therein lies the answer, I think. 
instead of aggression, calmness. Well, here we are in Perth. This is uh, the 7, which is also the Trans-Canada Highway. And you go right there, you can go down to Peterborough, then on to Toronto, or you can keep going west into this great country. You never know, one day I may take um, take a bigger trip uh, across the across the country. I I kind of doubt that unless it's by. Uh, won't be by scooter anyway. Still haven't convinced my my good wife to uh, try one, but that's okay. Kind of wonder what things would have been like if uh, you had taken a different path, like when I think it was before we were married. Actually, we were walking down uh, St. Catherine Street in Montreal, and there was a motorcycle store. Uh, had a huge window and I always used to look through the window and, and dream of riding back in the day and I remember going along there and seeing this red motorcycle with a sidecar and I did talk about my wife talk to my wife about getting something like that and going across Canada. Wouldn't that have been fun? Actually, as it turns out, we purchased a uh, Honda Civic station wagon and went across Canada, which was the best vehicle that I've ever had. And just uh, perfect. Okay, I've gone into C Canadian Tire and uh, got the the boxes, and you'll see one. I put one on the uh, the back seat there with my net, and one fits right in the top box. And they look like they're going to be perfect for pennies. So uh, that is great. quite happy with what the uh, boxes look like and uh, they even came with a another little tiny box inside and I thought they were just talking about the you know the tray that's on the top of the inside but uh, no there's actually a little tiny another little ammo box in there so got the boxes for half price plus bonus boxes which might be just really useful for my camping trips ah, it sure is a cold and blustery day but what a great day for a ride people that don't put indicators on just put their brakes on don't know what they're gonna do next Quite a bit of noise in this uh, helmet right now, so I'm I'm thinking that's going to be being picked up on the mic for sure. I'll tell you one thing, I'm glad I put the long johns on this morning before I left. In my sweater underneath the jacket. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was uh, at least a little bit entertaining.